Yeah, the leader of Boko Haram there really trying to point out common cause between Boko Haram and other international jihadist groups. And that's something that government officials here have been talking to us about today as well. They say absolutely they see Boko Haram as a group with international connections. They say they arrest fighters from neighboring countries. They arrest fighters, they say, um, who don't speak any of Nigeria's languages. They want to see international action. We've also seen those satellite images that have been released of the areas of fighting. And again, they also show the strategic interest of Boko Haram targeting a military outpost so close to the border. Um, and that gives them, uh, government officials tell us, that freedom of movement across the border, enhancing their international threat. Religious leaders here also telling us it's time for the international community to step in and help Nigeria. The international community, seeing perhaps the inability of Nigeria to contain this situation, should also offer help. And this is the help we are not seeing. Now we saw it very glaringly. And I say I, I, I liked it when I saw the huge numbers gathered in, in Paris and then the heads of state from different nations all coming together for a common cause. Why can't we share the same sympathy, solidarity, concern? We've also been talking to soldiers as well. They echo that call for international help. They say when they go into battle against Boko Haram, Boko Haram often outgun them. Their weapons have a longer range. They have more ammunition than the soldiers do. The soldiers just carry light uh, AK-47s, light machine guns. Boko Haram coming in with big anti-aircraft guns can shoot over longer distances. And the soldiers say they're forced to flee the battlefield with that international help, giving them bigger stronger weapons, they say, they can win the fight against Boko Haram. Nick Robertson, CNN, Northern Nigeria.